may dagdag na paraan laban sa COVID-19. Together, we can be the solution plus. Be the plus sa maayos na daloy ng hangin. Be the plus sa maikling pisikal na interaksyon. Be the plus sa pagsuporta sa bakuna. Be the plus sa mga kwento ng kaligtasan sa Bida Barangay. Sa dagdag na pag-iingat, maraming buhay ang maliligtas. Be the solution plus laban sa COVID-19. The views and opinions expressed by the host do not necessarily state or reflect those of the hospital and its management. Furthermore, the views and opinions of the guests do not reflect those of the host, the show, the management, and the hospital. Lastly, no copyright infringement intended. All materials used and music background credit to the owner for public service purposes only. Good evening, mga kakwaran team. Welcome, Welcome to, to Debunking Meets. Ayong gabi. Ayong good gabi. Dr. Helen, good evening. Yes, good evening, Atty. Sa ito mga quarantine sa mga panimalay, o bisag asa mo nung dapita. Mayong gabi, eh, no? To our Ay! friends in Manila, all over the world. Good world, good all evening. All over the world. Yes, all over the world because we are in how many countries, Dr. Helen? It's worldwide. Right. Yes. <laughs> all right. Salamat, salamat sa ito mga live viewers sa pagtanaw continuously sa debunking list. And all of the programs we saw tonight. Right. All of this really is to debunk fake news so that we make sure that you know the truth and you get it from Yes, maugin na itong purpose sa debunking meet nga masultian o good sa mga issue sa itong katilingban o related to itong healthcare um, ecosystem, especially here oh. in Vicente Soto Memorial yes. Medical Center. We would Remember like to acknowledge... Me. Yes. I'd like to comment on your shirt. I'd like to comment on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is very special, no? Ah. Uh, because a while ago, five minutes from a while ago, no, five minutes ago, I was wearing another color. Yes. Then since tonight is a very special debunking meet night because of course we will be talking about the you know those people who we love the most. Wow. Bisag yes. kinsa surjo gumogin yata mga top one nga gilab. Yes, mga ilaw sa tahanan. Mga ilaw sa tahanan, mga haligi nga ginimo pa nila sa relasyon daw. Kung ang usa ko no ka babay ang di mo give up padayon pa gyud na but once it's the woman who will give up the relationship ginaingon na gyud that's the end of the so bantay bantay no that's uh women empowerment very powerful women are and of course each one of us local helen ikaw na kay mama di ba yes so mama at mga auntie kay auntie man ko no dili ko mama and mga sisters and cousins mga daughters ini para sa ato mga kababayan no kay we are kababayan. celebrating kabay kababayan yes kababayan oh, correct 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 uh, we're celebrating <laughs> international women's month yes og di kita ni hunungon ang atong man, ma, uh, buwan sa marso without mm. talking more about women yes. okay despite the covid-19 increase na nanatas ang 8000 plus ug sa atong uh, ongoing covid vaccination kay gusto nato ma maprotektahan ang atong mga uh, vulnerable population and frontline healthcare workers. Correct, correct. And always don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. We have yes. Facebook at Official VSMMC. And on Twitter, Official VSMMC. And on, on, on YouTube, we 
have all of our videos on Vicente Soto Memorial Medical Center. Or you can email us at osm at vsmmc.doh.gov.ph. So, Kining Soto, you can always reach out to us, no? Especially sa mga results na to sa swab. You know very well, nga nanay nahitabo, no? Nga gisoon ang ato ang resulta. But you can always access us. You can always um, contact us via our Facebook page, our uh, Twitter account, our YouTube, and our official um, email address. Yes, okay? Yes, Soto Memorial Medical Center 24-7 nagpadagan. So, 24-7 accessible wow. sa tanan nga mga ka-quarantine. Correct, correct. Alright. So, dili na nato lang ngayon lang pa. Kaya I'm sure excited na kamo while you are eating down there. Oh my God. This is a epitome of beauty. Yeah, no, oh. no, ma. Mura siya si Kakuanta ni Wonder Woman. Ah, si Gadot. Gal Gadot. Yeah, ah. look at that. So, oh, and incidentally, no, Wonder Woman was one of our film screening in yes. Fogs City Chapter on about women empowerment. Yes. Oh. Oh, live sa Takaruno. Makita sa Fogs. Our Fogs nga Fogs your Cebu society. Chapter, yes, our, our Facebook page and also by the Cebu City PIO, our OPAG and DOH Center and we have our friends at Law Center Incorporated. Og nagtan-aw karon si Attorney Irene Caballes and friends, no? Busy sila na sila sa Central Block promoting, you know, advocacies for women. Hello. For law king. Pati into din po si Attorney Santiago, she's also the board of directors of the Shared Child Movement and also of uh, the law in. Law in. Uh, yeah. in social development. So, hindi uh, na tamag lang ngay-langay pa. Ato na ning hisgutan atong very important topic for tonight. And of yeah. course, we have an expert to debunk some myths about uh, women in the workplace. The mga Wonder Woman. Kini. <laughs> Mauni siya Wonder Woman. Please introduce the Wonder yeah, Woman. Okay. So, uh, this Wonder Woman, when she gave us her CV, very short lang binigay niya, no? She's the coordinator of the Women and Children Protection Center or the Pink Center of DSMMC. But she's uh, so much more than that. She's a true advocate of women empowerment and women protection and women's health as a member of the board of directors of the Fog Cebu chapter. Also, one of the people who advocated for gender-based violence protection and competency among the residents of obstetrics and gynecology all the way to Pogs. So, and she has, she is uh, somebody who is known to all of the communities because tanan nga mga uh, women's desk sa ato mga communities nag-refer man diri sa BSMMC Peace <laughs> Center. Wow. So, daghan ta mga programs and activities to make sure na sa, makasurvive ang atong mga survivors. We don't call them victims, no. We call them survivors, survivors. of gender-based violence. It is my honor and my privilege to introduce to you Dr. Madeline G. Amadora. Wow. Have we lost the Wonder Woman? Yeah, our Wonder Woman <laughs> Pink Center. Okay, mm -hmm. from the Pink Center, I'm sure you have a police that is not a abogado nga di kaila ni Dr. Amadora <laughs> Hi Doc! Oh, Kamusta? Hello nga yung gabi eh kaninyong tanan Wow! Okay, Kamusta ma? Ma Maayo kayo and ako kaming pasalamat nga gi-invite me diri again sa Soto Live about women no? Kay Karun we are celebrating the National Women's Month Right No? So thank you so much and thank you for that wonderful introduction <laughs> also Of course All right. <laughs> Very yes, important. So, but this is uh, an opportunity for us to let our hair down. No? Yes. Make serious, <laughs> but uh, we want to make sure that we bow on the nan, kababayan sa ilang mga rights and our yes. rights to decide. Uh, Especially tonight, tungun. ang atong pagahisgutan kay women in the workplace. Yeah, no? uh, sa trabahuan, no? Kamo okay. tanan diyan, nagtan almo, nagtamo, nagtrabaho, or namo mga negosyo, and you're working with people. So, ito nang klaruhon ka ang mga myths on women in the workplace. Ready na ba ka, doktor? Ready, ready. <laughs> ready, ready na. Alright. So, later we will be talking about the Women's Month celebration. Okay? So, before that, let's debunk some myths. Okay, number one. Okay. okay. Yes. So, number one, investing in women doesn't pay off. Huh? Grabe naman sa... Yes. Yes. So, usan nila, right. mga myth, um, nga nung nag-talk ta about myth on sa workplace, 
kay kasagaran karon manggod especially karon sa pandemic um there are other corp, corp, corporate um, mga offices who prefer men then women especially karon nga daghan kay nangita og careers no yeah, or kanang okay. jobs and yeah. then this is very important to me nga topic kay you know investing women is kuan manggod kanang Daku kaay nag oportunidad na not only to empower or to kanang yahang yahang progress no mm. ma, ma ma develop as well as daku sa kaayo nga oportunidad sa pamilya sa komunidad mm. o sa nation so regarding this number one myth okay so the truth is that closing gender gaps will actually lead to an increase of this GDP or the gross yeah. domestic product. Oh, yeah. economics yeah. days ni de, no? Yes, kay nga no, kun pananglitan equal footage lang ang lalaki ug ang babae, no? Pareha-pareha ang inyo ang footage. And there is a study nga increase to 26% ang GDP. Wow. So, that is why mas maayo sa gyud pud nga i-consider pud ang babae kay usay man good thing nga myth, no nga Ang babae is only good for baby making, oh, no. not oh. money making. So, oh. sakit ka ay na nga myth gani nga. Mo na mo na una on kasagaran nga. Mo hire mi sa lalaki dan babae kay ang babae mo mabuntis. Yes. Mga anak. Yes. Mga anak. Yes. 90 days maternity Ay, leave. Oh, oh, yeah. Kanya night time sad po magdisminorya in town ang babae <laughs> or mo absent siya para sa iyahang mga so, anak yeah. kaya yes. panalita yeah. na sakit. Mm. No, pero if you give opportunity to these women, she can be a very good economic agent also. Yes. Wow, very, very good economic agent and can increase the country's so, in GDP. Yeah. I, I remember uh, the Corona a movement before no the girl yes na, if you want the whole community to uh r- rise up uh, beyond uh, poverty then you educate the girl yes yes see yes. dili mm-hmm. ang kasagaran ra gyud ang, lal- ang bata ang lalaki kay ay laha man good kani di bang sa ni nga myth no mm-hmm. nga ang lalaki pa eskwelahon good education kay ang lalaki may mabuhi sa pamilya yeah. oh. ang babae magninyo og dato wala mm-hmm. gani nga <laughs> Ay na lang ka eskwela kay pangita na lang ka foreigner. So, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, karaan, so sad. that's so oh. sad nga kana nga myth ba. So karon kinanglan jud equal opportunity to everyone. Right. And I believe no di ba sa simple nga pagtan-aw ba sa lud sa pamilya. Kinsa may modala sa budget? Di ba ang mama? Yes. Ang mama mo ay mo, mo save mangita gyud og resources. And yes. then it, when it comes to workplace, it's good to have also women Yes. sa workplace because they will really find resources. They are resourceful. Before they will ask for it, demand for it, they will find ways first. So, you, you know how, economics you know, na. How painful labor is, diba? It's very, yes. very painful. It's yes. excruciating. But if a woman can endure something as, as excruciating as labor, a woman can endure many difficult challenges in life. Right. Yeah. It can endure. Yeah, yeah. I she would, can endure. I would even kind of hatagi lang siya gamay capital. Yes. She can build a business there. Correct. And then she can make networks food, no? Yes. Even with that limited na resources. So, right. amazing yun ang babae. Sige. Mm. So, we are accepted, no? So, it's closing. Uh, gender gaps will actually lead to an increase in global GDP. Second myth. Okay. 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 Yeah. Gender inequality is not an issue in developed countries. Gender inequality, in fact, is a big problem all over the world. Why gipili? Yeah. Why gipili? Why Especially gipili? sa developing countries. Yes, why mandok? Ano mandok? Why? Okay. Even in developed countries, like example lang sa United States, no? So, may nga sila nga, there is gender equality, but in fact, dili good. There is a study nga, 66 among uh, 66 women among 100 men are in the leadership and in the managerial mm. uh, area. area. Okay? And then worst pag no, sa Europe nga 90 it's 89% ang naa sa ilahang supervisory or administrative na area. So if we just debunk this nga myth ba give an opportunity to women kay kay nunta ba Yes, progress is possible. Um, development is possible. Yes. But if you will give women 
no? Nga, the right to improve herself and then be equal sa lalaki. Uh, I think she can also give a contribution sa yeah. nation or yes. even the world. Wow, so well put said. this woman in the driver's seat. Yeah. No? yeah. Yes. Let them rule. Alright. Thanks for that, Dr. No. Very good <laughs> facts. Now let's have number three, Dr. Helen. Yeah, so number three, women's income is not used any differently than men's income. So, what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Kanang, kun, what is yours is mine, what is mine is not yours. Hindi, kanang, kung sa mas spend sa lalaki, mm. same ra kuno ang spend sa babae. Mga ni siya ang pasabot nga miya. Mm. So, ang pasabot ini is, there is a greater percentage of women's income that are invested sa family as well as community. Why yes. is that? Ah, okay. Kay kun ang babae, ipahold ni mo sa poor sa family income, yes. mm-hmm. um, daghan ka ayo benefit, kay mo, mo channel manguna sa education, mm. sa nutrition, and health services. Right. Okay? So when we say empowering women, or empower, empower na to women, it's not about increase yang sildo, mm. but the capacity to kuan ka ng to what's this? Um, the capacity to hold or be responsible to what to do of that income. Right. Ah, so considering no? all opportunity costs. Yes. And so she, siya mo 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 determine uh-oh. asan ni padum sa income. Mm. There is a, versus what? Yes. Yeah. Okay. There is a study in Brazil. Ha, kung panalitan ang babae ang hold sa income and she will become economically empowered. There is an increase of 20% survival, our child survival rate. Wow. Yes. And then they said, sad food, nga, kun ang babae mo hold sa first sa family income, um, there is a drop of about 6% of extreme poverty. Wow. That's the study. That's based research. on research. Yes, that's wow. based on Amazing. research. Amazing. Yes. That's good, no? That's fast. So, research magina, no? Yes. Uh, okay. And now, let's go to item number four, the myth number four. Yeah, Women sure. choose to work less than men. Yeah. So, good, oh. ka, <laughs> Dr. Helen, madam ba? Nga mura ka 24-7. Anytime, anywhere. So, good, Right. One, women shoulder a greater burden of unpaid work Whoa. and have fewer paid work opportunities. Okay? Mm. Why? When we, when we say unpaid work, sa kining mga iyahang na i- responsibilities sa iyahang shoulder, mm-hmm. example of this responsibility and paid work are taking care of the family, yes. taking care of the children, and taking care of even the elderly. So these mm. are the reproductive caregiving. Na, reproductive work niya. In yes. which wala bayad na siya wala check. What does she check nga pay for pay check for that, yes. no? And then kun panalitan may ngunta o kanang these women um there are studies also there is this is a study we're in Unfortunately, it's happening all over the world. No, ninety mm-hmm. percent of women in South Asia, in the Middle East, and in the North Africa, ninety percent of their work are unpaid and oh. unregistered. So, yes. Okay, nung kamu pa tasking ang babae na trabaho siya sa sa iyang trabaho an. Yeah, same time. So let's see it. Yeah, so, I remember na I na I meme before sa, sa Facebook, I think no na nag nag conduct sila og uh, interview, interview for a particular job. Mm-hmm. And then nag 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 ingon tong ano mag-hire kun sa ang job description. Mm-hmm. So ang job description is to cook meals, to um prepare the laundry, to <laughs> clean up the house, to mm-hmm. um to be a shoulder to cry on and then to uh, do counseling and then the the pay the pay is actually zero oh. and then nobody would ad- agree no na to to take on that particular job and then they realized that the job they're applying for is as a mother so as that a was mother. the point of that um, me was to thank our mothers for all of the things that they have gone through for us 
Yes. Minimum of that is the how many hours of labor to bring you into this world, no? And Correct. Ever yeah. since, no, you have all, always been dependent on your mother. I'm actually, how old am I? 43 years old. And I'm currently <laughs> wow. still dependent on my mother. Hi, mommy. Yes. Man. Kaya ang trabaho magod sa mama, ang iyang operating hours magod, it's 24-7. 24-7. And kung lang pa ang 24 hours. Kung pa ang 24-7. Yes. Alright? So, Si Manina always know uh, our parents, uh, our mom, uh, the women really good, no? Then, mm-hmm. nagi comment here nga, good, uh, empowered women, empowered empower women. women. Dr. Beth, hi, hello, Dr. Mami. Beth de los Santos, hello. Oh, Nakapod nag, ano, hello, ni mo, si Lisa de Gamo. Hi, Doc Maddie, my OB seven years ago. Hope to visit your clinic soon, Doc. Wow, hi. <laughs> seven years ago and very memorable ka pa rin sa kanya. Yeah, seven Ayan. is a good number, right? Hindi nakabuutan, yes. oh, hi, Doc, na apa, no? Si mm. Naila. Uh, sa Ligumba. Hi, yes. Doc. Hi. Hi. Continue sa pag-like o comments and you can always ask questions or send your shout-out here sa ato ang comment section mga current team. Okay. okay. Now, let's go to our fifth um, myth for tonight. Yeah, number five. Fa- family-friendly, gender-responsive policies are not worth the investment. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> myth. Okay. okay. That's this the last is, myth for tonight. This is a myth. Like, mm-hmm. Abi ninyo, kung panalitan mo, invest lang ang company for this mga family-friendly policies and gender-responsive policies. Yes. There is really an increase of the return of investment. Okay? Mm. And ikaduha lang sa food, like, example, option like family planning. Mm. There is a study, if one pesto is allotted for a family planning in underdeveloped countries, that one peso can have a savings of 16 pesos. Wow. Mm, no? Yes. So, in totality, if like, sa mga family planning advocate, yeah. elisod ka, ayo karon nga, ang babae, sige, pagbuntis, pagbuntis. Of course, she should consider also nga, ang iyahang career ma stop mm. or ma hinder if Sige siya pagbuntis. That is why everybody, like sa reproductive health law, na everybody should choose the number of family she likes, or or she children she likes, and she can add an option of the family planning also. So, wow. yes. example, I would really commend about kanang sa ato ang hospital nga naanay Cody. No? Yeah, could you. Yes, this committee of decorum on investigation, investigation. of sexual harassment. Mm. Okay, even sa una luoy kaayo ang babae cannot file sexual harassment in the in the iyang workplace. workplace. Okay, wala may balaod. Unya, yes. unsa maning 78, 77, 1995 yeah. ba di siya? Pa. Na hitabo. Unya, even sa United States, 1975 pa naa din So usahay ba unfair? kun panalitan dili na to itutok ni siya nga pagpangabuso mm. balik na sa kus pagpangabuso nga nahitabo sa yang workplace dili mahatagan justice sa iya correct yes. and now uh, because of this no nga mga uh, advances of law no uh, there are already uh, example mga kudi yes uh, even breastfeeding yes, areas yes. and then very good and health facilities, well, mga, mga health mga facilities for women sa bata. yes so, and also sa bata na yes. pwede na mapili ni mong anak and yes. then uh very there's so many kuan kana benefits cafeteria nga for women that they can choose already their schedule yes. o oh, mga mga HR dia hello sa so mga HR practitioners no <laughs> so there are many ways to uh improve this aspect uh, for women no in our country. so that's why Mga diba, no? gender and development programs yes. must always be transparent yes. sa ito ang mga trabahuan. Yes, in Correct? fact, we have we are already doing gender and development. Mm. And kung tanaw na gid nato ni ang atong pagka gender sensitive or responsive sa Vicente Soto kay ako man sa mm. gender and development. <laughs> yes, yes. Kung <Wonder> <laughs> <man yan. laughs> ato ang itanaw lang gid kay sa una, wala gid na Ita, oh, kana na aman pero wala lang na document. Yes. Mm. Pero if you really document it, there is an existing guide already or gender development ng mga programs oh, there is that photo. It's just that we have to claim it that this is under gender yes. and development. Yeah, correct, correct. 
So there is also a comment here from Neil Habon, no? LPT, teacher Ganeshava. Feminism isn't about making women strong. Because yes, women are already strong. Oh, yeah. It's about changing the way the world perceives that strength. Good afternoon, Soto Live. Hello, Tony RC, Dr. Madama, and Dr. Amadura. Hashtag women make change. Wow, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Isug naman daan. Yes, isug naman daan. Isug naman. So it's about the perception. Perception na lang yun nga. Kuan ka na. Kung sa'y pagtanaw sa kalibutan o sa uban nga sa strength sa babae. Correct, correct. Mga nagingon good nga. Um, once a woman wakes up, she can move mountain. Wow! Yes. yes. And sa ato ang ganun sa International Women's Day, ang ato ang same is choose to challenge. Choose to challenge. Yes. Oh. Choose to challenge. So, I would say, you, naigingon na to nga, do not challenge your limit, but limit your challenge. Ano? Limit. Nabalitad. Limit your challenge, but do, uh, challenge. Limit your, uh, do not limit your challenge, but challenge, challenge your, your limits. limits. Wow. Wow. Good, good, good. 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 So, this is like Biblica no, from Shera Villanueva. No? Proverbs 31, verse 20 to 21. Yeah. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. So, women are happy to follow the Lord's call and help those in need without asking for anything in return. Kudos, kudos to all empowered and faithful women. So, yeah. even in social development, even in the church, church. even in pastoral care, yes. many women are there, out there, you know, caring for other people, caring not just for her own family, but also for her whole community. Correct, correct. Yes. No? So, uh, this month of March, uh, before we proceed no, with the next items, no? This month of March is what we call the National Women's Month Celebration. Yeah. So the 2021 National Women's Month Celebration serves as a tribute, a platform, and a call to action that highlights the extraordinary roles of ordinary Juanas in society as trailblazers and hardliners of change. This celebration is also a venue to discuss and address the issues that women continue to face so empowerment can be fully achieved. The campaign is also a call for concrete, sustainable, and inclusive actions towards gender equality. Yan, kaya kuha na laban sa pandemya, kaya. This year's campaign is different from the previous ones because it is set in the COVID-19 pandemic drop backdrop, which is post which posed both challenges and opportunities for women. I remember, you no, know, Dr. Akin is always saying that any challenge, there is an opportunity. Yes, yes. So hence, this year's uh, observ observance highlights women's participation in battling the pandemic as well as discusses gender issues exacerbated by the pandemic. It is the time to delve deep into the gender issues that emerge or become more felt during the health crisis. Feature women who thrive despite the circumstances and share support systems and government programs that address women's issues and concerns. Wow, yeah. very good, no? And oh, we have. During yeah. the pandemic, yeah. pandemic, yeah. Pandemic, yeah. Pandemic, yeah. pandemic, 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 many challenges. Yeah, many challenges, many opportunities to see the women shine. Yeah, yeah. and a while ago we were talking about perception of women, ba? No? Yeah. So there's a question here from Lantern Walk. Mm -hmm. How do you change the perception? How do we change perception? Of course, first we have to empower women. Kay maugin na siya ang kinanglanon nato nga makibalo ang babae unsa iyang katungod ug unsa iyang worth. Okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if people if people will see you as kanang murag low ka ato ang self worth, of course mao sa na ang pananaw nila. Mm -hmm. So we have to start we the women. Okay? Mm. So that will project sa ubang tao nga dili rami giingon og baby making baby maker, no? <laughs> yes. So, kana gi iko na to nga kanang myth, no? So we empower women. Next is we advocate mm. to other people that women should be treated as equal as men and be respected. So, you treat women as your mother. Oh. No? Okay. Diba, mulisito, magita sa atong mama, mulab, magita sa mama. If you see women sa imuhang ka ng everyday work and then 
you think that this is your mom? I don't yes. think na siguro yung mga buso sa babae or Correct. magdaong-daong sa babae. If you always think na uh, you have a mother. Yes. Na may daghan na mga soap operas, no? mga soap opera, mga telenovelas that uh, a criminal ba hikapon da yun niya. Uh, alam ko, meron kang ina. So it's always the mother ba nga mas oh, tap, you know? Dako kay impact. Yes. And and without he has an answer also on how do you change perception? Changing perception should start at home. Yes. Correct. Children should be taught that there are different ways of displaying. Yes. And, yes. Oh. Very important than your self-esteem. No, I agree that it starts at home because children have to know their self-worth. Yes. If a, a girl knows that she is a uh, uh, is a gift that's worth more than diamonds. When she grows up, she will be an empowered woman. And an empowered woman really brings uh, life into her family and to her community. Yes, yes, yes correct. Yes. And the Women's Month celebration is not only about women, man, good, diba? This is really the celebration of everybody around the world to really celebrate women, right? So, dili lang mga babay ang nag-celebrate, but everybody because we are happy that we have them in our lives. Yeah. And we have here from Montances Junjing, Dr. Madi, an inspiration, an empowered woman who empowered women. Really, a wonder woman. Wow! Thank you very much! Imagine you have a on March 22. Oh, you have a wonder woman. And before we are going to um, continue no, for the last message of doctor, we would like to inform you nga, ang Dr. Helen, the Soto Live. Yeah. We'll be celebrating <laughs> its first year, first year anniversary. anniversary. Parang kailan lang. So please uh, watch out in our Facebook page. We will do announcements <laughs> of our pa contest for this week. So we have a TikTok contest as we have our Soto Live anniversary on March 25, 2021. And that wow. is... Thursday, and before we go to the last parts of our show tonight for the banking meet, Dr. Madi, what's your message sa mga nanan ako karun kung sa makita ani ato programa? Um, why are we celebrating Women's Month? We we celebrate Women's Month to highlight o ato is celebrar ang women's achievement as well as ang mga problema nga na-face niya every day sa struggle niya as a wife. Okay? So, I am calling everybody na women deserve respect, love, as well as um, equal opportunity to everyone. Okay? Yes. So, to all amazing, wonderful women there, happy Women's Month! Yes. Kaya, no, laban huwana, kaya natin to. Kaya yan. Laban huwana. Kaya yan. And we choose to challenge. Wow, yes. so, very good. Very beautiful, no? So, there's no force more powerful than a woman determined to rise. And a woman is full circle, no? Within her is the power to create, nurture, and transform. This is an example of very, <laughs> very blooming. <Yes. laughs> Alright, Dr. Helen, we have some people to thank, Dr. Helen. Yes, of course. All of this will not be possible at, without the leadership and the example, role modeling of our medical center chief, our incident commander and producer of Soto Live, Dr. Gerardo M. Aquino Jr. Yes, <laughs> Mauna siya believer kay Bisagkaroon, Dr. Aquino. He's already the medical center chief, pero yes. FYI, oh, ato na yung ichismis kamay, no? Ni Dr. Aquino. Even at his level right now of management, he still has his mother. He still consults his mother and, doctor, and that is correct dr aquino always refer to the mother because the mother always give you know something uh, yeah, inputs he doesn't make any final decision without yes. consulting his mother very good hello dr aquino and also what's that sa mama put sa wife put yes. <laughs> i know the anecdotes of dr about the wife and beloved beloved kwan yung believer kaysa sa mga babae and of course dr helen who else yes of course and we'd like to uh, acknowledge also all of the help from our DOH Regional Director, Dr. Jaime Bernadas and his full team. Right, right. And also the team of Dr. Ligaray for the Sub-National Laboratory. 
our SNL team, mga kakakwanang kakwanang team, always remember ha, tanawag yun yung mga resulta, yes. and double check that it is coming from Soto. Ayaw, nagpatuli Wee! ang kanang mga nagkuan, no? Fake, ano, fake news, mga fake, fake RTPR art- result. Yes, correct. Uh, okay, no. kamurat sana na, madakpan mo, maapil pa mo. O, di ba? Yes. Mas better go mo diri sa Soto, kay free na magiging atong swapping. So, the will set you free. So, we are providing you with free services, walay charge, uh, and we are making the services as easy for you to access. Wow! Right. And to our COVID warriors, our healthcare workers, survivors, tanan, partners, our donor sponsors, and to all quarantine, daghang king salamat. Yes, right? and since we're talking about the banking meets of women in the workplace, a special mention to all the women in the healthcare workforce, the frontline healthcare workers, the uniform personnel, the social workers, the community health leaders, our chiefs, Thank you very much for all of the work that you do. Empowering women will empower women. Right. And of course, to our special guest tonight. So, diri rin na ito. Nahibaw ang pare-pareha ragyot siya, no? Ni, ni Gaga Dot, no? Our Wonder Woman, Dr. <laughs> Amadora. Nakay gusto i-greet, Dok. You can greet now people out there nga nagtanaw. Um, I would like to greet the Women and Children Protection Center staff or the Pink Center. And... We celebrated our 25th anniversary last Ooh, March 8th of 2021. So, from 1996, we are still here strong and wow. able to help the abused women and children. Wow! Yes, Kanasa really strong. Strong. From March 8th, 2021. March 8th, 2021. So, yes. 25 years of existence na sa ito ang Pink Center. Pink Center. Wow. Wow. And, and I would like to encourage all healthcare workers out there, no? still we promote uh, COVID-19 vaccination and we would like to thank uh, Cebu South Medical Center, Dr. Agot and St. Anthony Mother and Child Hospital, Dr. Juanita Chu for allowing the DSMNC healthcare workers to serve as your quick substitution list. So right. ongoing, um, vaccination for all those who are interested to get vaccinated, let's get protected. I'm going to get vaccinated. I'm going to get vaccinated. I'm going to get Imo man ganing gitagaan og chance imong ex nga napakasakit napaka nimo ang vaccination pakaha nga makapasi og makapaayo nimo. All right. <laughs> Give it a chance. All right. Yeah, Dr. Amadora, thank you so much for your great time sa tanang mga kababayan to Dr. Uh, Attorney Irene Cavalles. Right, right. Thank you BSMMC staff from the Aquino family. Right, hi ma'am. Happy Women's Day there in Australia. Thank you so much, no? O kini, magpabiling kami sa kahanginan sa The Banking Meets kay Dinhi sa Soto. Kalidad At na servisyo among garbo. Kini si Atoy ni Panugali. Kini si Dr. Helen Madamba. Mao kini ang Soto Live. Maayong gabi! Thank you, Doctor! Thank you.